What's up everybody, this is Danny, and I've teamed up with ViewSonic to show you their new 4K UHD projector. And the problem with 4K projection right now is that it's pretty expensive, but this one comes in at a surprising budget price. So I'm gonna leave a link down below for you so you can check it out and take a look at current pricing. So it's really nice to see that 4K projection is coming down and it's more affordable. I am pretty excited to watch some content on this in 4K since it's four times the resolution of 1080p, so it should make a big difference when it comes to projections like this. But what I'm most interested in is how this games in 4K since we have the Xbox One X now and we also have the PlayStation 4 Pro, so we're definitely gonna get into some 4K gaming. And this can project up to 300 inches, which is pretty crazy. I even tried it on my garage wall outside and just projected as big as I can. It definitely works. So before I get into some gameplay, let me show you some of the features that comes with this budget 4K projector. So besides the 4K resolution, which is a big deal, this is one of the brightest 4K projectors out right now at 3,500 lumens. So you should be good for daytime use and nighttime use, but I'm gonna demo it here in this room where I think I'm gonna set this projector up. And another great thing is that this has HDR support. So if you're playing back HDR content, you should get vibrant colors, more contrast, and even more detail. This is a DLP projector and you can get up to 1500 hours of lamp life on this. And while this doesn't have Wi-Fi built in, it does have a pretty good amount of connectivity on the back. So you have your audio in and audio out. You have your computer in. You have two HDMI ports, one supporting HDCP 2.2 and also HDMI 2 that supports HDCP 1.4. So you should be all good here. You have a mini USB port and you also have an RS-232 port, which I'm not sure if anybody uses that anymore. You have a USB 5 volt, 1.5 amps out, and also a 12 volt out, and also a Kensington lock. On the top, you do have a zoom ring that gives you 1.2 optical zoom, and then you have a focus ring here at the top. Then you have your big power button right here to turn on the projector, and then you have a bunch of buttons up here if you want to navigate from the projector itself. It does come with the remote included, it's not the prettiest remote I've ever seen, but it definitely works and it's backlit. So let's go ahead and play some games on it here in 4K. I'm gonna hook up the Xbox One X first. Let's do this. All right, so I have the Xbox One X hooked up right now. We're gonna play a little bit of Forza. All right, so right away, I can tell the difference in 4K. And actually, this 10 watt speaker is really loud. Let me go ahead and turn this down. There is a built-in speaker here. So let's go ahead and play a little bit of Forza real quick. There we go. All right. I do shoot in 24 frames per second, so you can't really see what this looks like, but the Xbox One X supports 4K 60 frames per second, and this is looking buttery smooth right now. And I don't really feel a big noticeable gaming input lag at all while I'm crashing and messing up here. Let me see if I can recover. Oh, like a boss. But this is looking really good and it's feeling really good as well. So the Xbox One X test is working here. And I can definitely tell the resolution difference here though. The 4K, I can tell for sure. I did a little bit of tweaking on this profile and I can get a lot of color off of it now. I thought it was a little bit flat before, but now it's really starting to look punchy. And you can see the detail on here for sure. So the Xbox One X and Forza test, definitely a go on this. All right, so I have God of War loaded up right now on the PS4 Pro and this is looking stunning on here, man. Wow, this looks really good. So right now, what I have this out to be is, I think that we measured it, it's about 84 inches right now on the projection. So for a lot of people, you're probably gonna meet in here and in 100 inches, so this is looking really crispy in 4K. You can use that built-in 10 watt speaker if you want. It actually sounds pretty good, but with the audio inputs back there, I'd probably go with something else. Okay. Nowhere to go from here. 
from here, except across this bridge. Okay, so here's an idea of what God of War looks like on this projector. So I think this is also a major go. All right, guys, so what do you think about the ViewSonic 4K UHD budget projector? I definitely need to spend a little bit more time on this, watch some more movies on it, mess around with the calibration a little bit more to make a final decision on this. So if you wanna see a full review on this projector, let me know in the comment section below, or if you have any questions on it, also leave those in the comment section below as well, and I'll do my best to answer them. I'll leave a link down below if you want more information on this projector. Subscribe for more projector videos and cool tech like this, and I will see you guys in the next one.